My name is Hugh Herr. I'm 49 years old. I was born and raised in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Uh, I, I grew up on a very large farm. Um, my family was Mennonite, and many, many of my neighbors uh, at that time were, were Amish. So a very royal, uh, conservative, uh, fundamental background. Uh, today, I have uh, two beautiful daughters, Sage and Alex. Um, they're, they're an absolute delight. They're extraordinary Am Amazons. In 1982, I was in a mountain climbing accident. And uh, the result was that I suffered uh, frostbite to my legs. And after months of effort, my medical team was forced to amputate both my biological limbs. After the accident, I want to return to my expression, my passion in life, which was the vertical world of rock and ice climbing, vertical dance. And I set out to, to advance technology to achieve that goal. And I was successful. I was, after just six months, I, re I returned to the wall and I was climbing even better than I had achieved uh, prior to the accident with biological limbs. This was inspirational for me because I realized the extraordinary capacity of technology to repair, to rehabilitate, and to even extend human expression. And as a young man, I imagined a future world where technologies so sophisticated that all disability could be eliminated. A world in which neural implants would allow the seeing impaired to have sight. A world in which body exoskeletons would allow the paralyzed to walk. A world in which the severely depressed could live life feeling light and free. Um, and I'm, that has set the tone uh, for my life. I'm walking down that that trajectory, those steps, developing technology, design, trying to eliminate my own disability and ultimately the disability of others. There's such a great power and importance to belief. If you believe deeply in something, if, you, if, you, if it's deeply profound, that belief, you can make it so. You can materialize it in the world. So I had a deep faith and belief that I would climb again, and I did. I had a deep belief that I would design bionic limbs to restore normal walking patterns, and I did. These things took many, many years of, of thought and effort and struggle, but I believed I kept marching, I kept working, and I decided in my body and my mind to never stop until it was so, and it was so.